Hello everyone and welcome back to this session. I am starting this session with a conceptual question that the in the given systems there are two systems. This is system 1 and this is system 2 and here I am showing the equivalent system with equivalent stiffness and the mass and I am asking you that the are the two stiffness values same that means the k equivalent 1 and k equivalent 2 are same we can see here that in the first case the two springs are in parallel connection so we can say that the total stiffness in the first case will be k1 plus k2 but are we able to say directly that the stiffness in the second case will again be k1 plus k2 so this is not the case here and therefore I am presenting this session where we are going to first understand the kinematic of a problem where we are having a pulley in our system a massless pulley and then how can visualize the system vibrating or the equivalent stiffness of our system hello viewer this is Ashish Purohit I hope you are liking my content on my YouTube channel I want to inform you that we can now interact on an academy platform thank you example I am having a pulley here which is connected with a spring and then a rope is passing over the pulley and there is a mass connected here this is let's case one and on the other hand I am having an equivalent system where the this is a case where the spring is here and this is the mass now, if I want to understand that if I am giving a displacement of amount x here what is the displacement of this center y whether the y is equal to x or not in the similar case if the change in length of the spring is considered as x whether the displacement of the center will equal to x or not these are the two cases let's try to understand and we will start with the second case if i am giving a certain change in length or i am assuming a certain change in length in this spring is x what will actually happen when the length will increase the center will go down but it will go with half the amount the change in the length and how it is happening we can visualize that suppose I will consider a simple system where I am having these two rope and let's assume that the ropes are extensible rope and this length is L L and this periphery let's decide is the pi d by 2 so the total length of the string is 2 L plus pi d by 2 if I will give a pull to the center or suppose I am pulling the center and reaching the bringing the pulley at this point and this displacement is defined by an amount of y so what would be the new length of the string the new length of the string will be 2l plus 2y plus pi d by 2 so if this is y length the center is moving by an amount of y in the downward direction but if I will see the change in length that is 2y so actually what is happening when the center is coming down by the y amount the increase in the length will be twice of that value because we need the rope at both the side of the pulley that means if the increase in the length is x x by 2 and x by 2 is going to be compensated at, at the two side of the pulley and actually the displacement of the mass or the center of the pulley will be half of the increase in the length of this spring similarly here if I am giving a pull to this mass by an amount of x the center has to move by the half amount because if the center will come down let's by amount of 10 centimeter the 10 centimeter rope from both the side will be available and that is going to be in the change in the position of this mass so that means if the y is 10 centimeter the x will be 20 centimeter so I hope with these two examples now you will be able to visualize that when we are having a pulley and the spring in our system how to understand the kinematic of your problem now we are having a problem where we are connecting two spring with a pulley and then the pulley is connected with a mass so if I will write the equation of motion of this system equation of motion of the vibration of this system I will be able to get the k equivalent value or I would say that if I will write the natural frequency which can be simplified as g by delta and delta is nothing but the static displacement of the 
mask i am not going in the detail of this formula that how i have derived this if you are interested you can watch my other videos but in this case i can also write this omega as k equivalent by m equivalent value so let's see how we can write the natural frequency and get the k equivalent value this stiffness is k1 and this stiffness is k2 suppose the change in length of the first spring is x1 and second spring is x2 i am interested to know that what would be the total displacement of this mass whether it will be x1 plus x2 or something else this we can understand by just a superposition method in case one i am assuming only one spring and the rope and if the displacement in the first spring is amount of x1 that means the total displacement of the center will be half because the x1 is going to be distributed x by 2 x by 2 both the side so when i am writing this del will be it will be x1 by 2 similarly when i am considering the spring at the other side and giving a deformation of value x2 the center will move down by an amount of x2 by 2 so ultimately when i am having two spring i can write that the change in position of the mass will be x1 by 2 plus x2 by 2 now if i will make the free body diagram or i will consider the forces in the spring i will be able to replace this x1 and x2 value with the stiffness and other term and how we can do that we know that this is m so the tension in this string will be mg and that is going to be distributed here mg by 2 and mg by 2 so if i will make the free body diagram of this spring it is going to be experienced a force of mg by 2 let's it is k1 and x1 so i can write k1 x1 is equal to mg by 2 so from this equation i can write that x1 will be mg by 2 k1 in the similar fashion i can write k2 x2 is equal to mg by 2 and this x2 will be what mg by 2 k2 so when i will put this x1 and x2 in into the del formula and ultimately i will put this del formula in this formula i will get the k equivalent value so i will get this omega is equal to under root g by when i will put this value i will get this mg by 4 common and i will have 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 when i will rearrange the term i will get the g to g cancel out and i will get 4 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 and m will be here this is my natural frequency that means the k equivalent is what k equivalent will be 4 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 let's see let's go back and see that what is the equivalent in that the equivalent stiffness of the second system is 4 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 so using these two formula now we are able to comment that whether the equivalent stiffness of the two system are same or not and we can see here that directly we cannot say that the, these two stiffness are same but if let's consider that the k1 is, is equal to k2 or let's k1 is equal to k2 is equal to k so in the first case the value of the final equivalent stiffness will be 2k and when i will put the k1 is equal to k2 is equal to k in the second formula here also i will get that the 4k square by 2k so here also the total stiffness will be 2k otherwise for all different values of k1 and k2 these two equivalent stiffness values will not be same so i can finally comment that for a given value of k1 is equal to k2 k equivalent 1 will be equal to k equivalent 2 otherwise these two value will not be equal in addition to that we can also comment that for all other values the k equivalent 2 will be less than k equivalent 1 so i hope that you have now understood that how to solve a problem when we are having a pulley and i believe that this is very important concept and the given problem itself is an important problem so with this note i am closing this session thank you